hi welcome back to my channel you guys i'm so excited about this week's travel video because i'm going to be talking about the 10 best all-inclusive caribbean family resorts for 2018 and yes i said family resorts because so you can take your family to all-inclusive resorts so let's jump right on in number one we have the franklin d resort and spa and this is in jamaica Caribbean Family Resort with a playground, a giant water slide, swimming pool, kids club, teens program, kids buffet, and a beachfront location to boot. Plus, standard guest room, sleep up to five guests, two adults and three children under age 16. The resort located in Runaway Bay, Jamaica is best known for its nanny services, which are complimentary to all guests and especially welcomed by parents who like to dine at the Pier Restaurant, which is an, all, an, an adults-only eatery with delicious with a delicious fare okay number two the wind jammer um lord i can't talk today wind jammer landing in saint lucia is located near castries on saint lucia's stunning northwest coast the wind jammer landing pr provides a mediterranean feel not to mention a home away from home with one to four bedroom villas that range in size from 1,200 to 3,600 square feet. Families of all sizes can travel together and enjoy full kitchens, living spaces, large bedrooms, and convenient amenities such as washers and dryers. Of course, as an all-inclusive Caribbean resort, it is also it also offers kids programming, water sports, and restaurants. Okay, number three, Jewel Runaway Bay in Jamaica. This resort became an all-inclusive Caribbean family resort in 2012, following extensive renovations to what used to be an adults-only retreat. It offers a children's club, which is open to all ages, recording studio for teens. Y'all, this right here, let me, oh my goodness, this just blew my mind. It just blew me away. This resort offers a children's club, which is open to all ages, a recording studio for teens who will walk away with their own CD and a laser tag ranch for the whole family to enjoy. How awesome is that? If you have a teen that's into music, this is the perfect resort for you. Take your children so they can go out there and record their own CD. The resort also offers family programming such as Mommy and Me Spa Days, father-daughter dances, and parent and child golfing lessons. The all-inclusive Caribbean Resort also has Jewel Lagoon Water Park, which includes a lazy river, because who doesn't like that, splash zone, family raft zone, zero-entry beach lagoon, restaurant, and a giant sun deck. I'm trying to tell you, this is the place that you need to be. Number four, Beaches Resort. This is at Turks and Caicos. Ask any family which all-inclusive Caribbean resort they'd like to visit, and they're likely to mention Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. It is a top-related, a top-rated all-inclusive Caribbean resort on family vacation, critic, and with good reasons. The all-inclusive resort continually reinvents itself. Kids can easily spend an entire visit at the water park which touts the Sky Slide, which is the tallest of its kind in Turks and Caicos, as well as the hotel's six swimming pools. There's also a kid zone, a teen nightclub, 19 restaurants, a scuba program, and a wide variety of spacious accommodations, including family suites and seaside, seaside villas, and so much more. So, number five. The Nickelodeon Hotels and Resorts in Punta Cana, the Dominican Republic. What's better than a traditional all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean? Well, an all-inclusive Nickelodeon resort. And who doesn't love Nickelodeon? In the Caribbean. Also, uh, and this opened in 2016. Nickelodeon Hotels and Resorts Punta Cana features, just kidding, a playhouse for kids and families, Plaza Orange, where you'll find live entertainment and organized games, and Aqua Nick, which is an outdoor water park. Character dining experiences are also included in rates. Be sure to order a green slime smoothie. Accommodations include Swim Up Suites and The Pineapple, which is a villa inspired by SpongeBob's home. Who would not want to stay in a pineapple that looks like SpongeBob's home? I know I would. Number six, don't judge me. Number six, Coconut Bay Beach Resort in St. Lucia. Y'all, I think quite as kept. I think, you know, my big sister Kathleen said, Michelle, you need to find us a resort. We need to get away. I'm leaning towards this one. No, we don't have any kids, but I'm definitely leaning towards this one. So the Coconut Bay 
Beach Resort and Spa offers family and adults only accommodations and pools, making it a viable option for the multi-generational vacations. It also houses St. Lucia's largest water park, complete with a lazy river and two giant water slides. Better yet, Coconut Bay Beach Resort and Spa offers a paintball facility, a kite and windsurfing center, kids club, and seven restaurants. It's conveniently located just five minutes from the airport. I am seriously thinking, and, and I do have this x because I, I'm going to call them and see what I can uh, hook up for our girlfriend's getaway. Okay, number, what is this, number seven. The Iberstar... Bavero Suites in the Dominican Republic as well. The, the D Dominican Republic offers a wealth of all-inclusive resorts, but Iberstar Bavero Suites, located in Punta Cana, trumps all. It offers something for everyone in your group, and that's that's what you want. For kids club, from kids clubs to nightclubs, along with a giant swimming pool and overlooking the ocean. We love the two-story bungalows as well as the resort's convenience, which is just tw a 20-minute ride to the airport. That's what you want, something close by the airport. But the best feature is easy accessibility to neighboring the Ivor Star Resorts where you can enjoy shared amenities such as on-site restaurants. I love that. Let me just put an X there too. Because when you go and stay in resorts that have a connection with other resorts, that is always an amazing thing. And that's what we had when we went to Cancun last year. Now, number, number, what is this? Number eight, I believe it is. Yep, number eight. The Videra Beach Resort and Spa in Antigua. We're going to put an X on that one, too. The Videra Resort and Spa only offers 180 rooms, creating an intimate atmosphere. You'll quickly come to know staff members and even other guests. The resort itself, however, still manages to encompass 30 acres of Antigua with two beaches, four pools, including one just for kids, a miniature golf course, playground, kids club, and a teen hangout. Be sure to sneak over to the Long Bay Beach, just a short walk away from the lobby, and a great beach for families. Okay? Number nine is the Las Castillas Village, a water fort, Asteria re a resort. Having introduced an all-inclusive package in 2016, the package includes accommodations in its luxury condos, three meals a day, select alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, and best of all, access to Coqui Water Park. I hope I'm saying that right. The package also includes access to all of the resort's fantastic amenities, including Palomino Island and an exclusive land island for guests of the resort. There you can rent water sports, go for a hike, grab a bite to eat, or simply relax by the teal blue waters. Sounds refreshing. And number 10. This gets a double star. <laughs> Number 10 is the Wyndham Reef Resort, Cayman Islands. The only all-inclusive resort in Grand Cayman, the Wyndham Reef Resort is tucked away on Grand Cayman's East End, which is less crowded by the island's Seven Mile Beach Resort area. Here the resort provides villas with fully equipped kitchens, living rooms, and private balconies, all facing the Caribbean Sea. The resort offers an a la carte pricing as well as all-inclusive options. With every guest enjoying three swimming pools, 1,600 feet of white sand beaches, and a number of ways to enjoy the water. You guys, let me tell you, I want to encourage you, if you have a family, and if you don't have a family, Get out there and check out one of these resorts. Let's do a quick recap, and I promise I will let you be. Number one, Franklin D. Resort and Spa in Jamaica. Number two, Windjammer Landing, St. Lucia. Number three, Jewel Runaway Beach, Jamaica. Number four, Beaches Resort, Turks and Caicos. Number five, Nickelodeon Hotels and Resorts, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Coconut Bay Beach Resort, St. Lucia. Number seven, Iberstar, Bavero Suites, Dominican Republic. Number eight, the Vadera Resort and Spa in Antigua. Number nine, Los Castillas Village, the Waldorf Asteria Resort. And number 10, the Wyndham Reef Resort in the Cayman Islands. So that's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those who continue to support me in all that I do. If there is a location that you would like me to talk about on my channel, please reach out to me and let me know. My information is always going to be in the description box because I want to talk about the things that you're interested in. So until next time. I love you guys to the moon and back. There's nothing you can do about it. And I look forward to seeing each of you on the beaches of the world. Until then, take care. <laughs>